researchers at Stanford are taking a cutting-edge cancer treatment to new lengths, and they now believe it has the promise to help millions of cancer patients in the future. Nicole Shaw is full of life and loves to ride her Harley in the Santa Cruz Mountains. But her life almost came to an end when her lymphoma suddenly returned. There was no more options, and when I was told that my cancer was back, I was devastated, and I didn't have much time to live. But Nicole's final chance was a clinical trial at Stanford. There, Dr. David Miklos and his team used a groundbreaking cancer therapy. It works by genetically altering the patient's own immune cells, which in turn attack and destroy the cancer, as seen in this animation by the therapy's developer, Kite Pharma. We're taking those uh, cells that we hoped to uh, help us avoid cancer in the first place, and we're adding uh, a little bit more uh, power. And in the case of Fernando Guerrero, the Stanford team is taking that power a step further. To treat his particularly aggressive lymphoma, they're using a new experimental version of the therapy, which creates extra targets for the immune cells to attack. He first told me about it and explained to me with some drawings of what he was going to do. I say yes, I mean. Researcher Dr. Crystal Makel says the strategy is so promising in early trials, it could be the key to attacking and even curing a wide range of cancers. I am absolutely convinced that we will be able to not only make these therapies more effective for patients with leukemia and lymphoma, but extend this to other diseases like brain cancer or some of the most difficult to treat cancers. Nicole has now been cancer free for seven months and spends every moment with her 10 year old daughter. Fernando has faith he'll reach his own goal to one day attend his young granddaughter's wedding. I want to be there holding with my son, both on each side and walk down the aisle. Pulling for him. It's really remarkable what's happening. The cancer immune cell therapies are known as CAR T. The Kite Pharma version has uh, just approved by was just approved by the FDA, and Stanford version is now recruiting for clinical trial. We have information on abc7news.com, but again, could really change things dramatically. Very encouraging mm -hmm. news. Well,